collabs that we've been doing so we decided that we're just gonna make this a monthly thing for today's video we're doing something different we're doing DIY Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest inspired. inspired now usually I don't like I don't even like looking on Pinterest because I feel like everyone gets I their actually DIY. do I love Pinterest but yeah a lot of I feel like everyone gets there. their DIY ideas from there so I tend to like make them up on my own so these are Pinterest inspired but of course we put our own twist on it we're gonna do eight total four will be on my channel and you're gonna have to head on over to Drew's channel the four link more. will be in the description box as well as I always link it at the end of this video as well so be sure to check out his channel and subscribe but let's jump right into the DIYs for this first DIY, we're going to be making a concrete tray. You're of course going to need concrete, a spatula, silver leaf, painter's tape, a tray, and lastly, you're going to need a paintbrush. So you're just gonna begin, I used about four scoops of this concrete and mixed about half a cup of water with it. You're gonna go ahead and pour it on to your tray. As you can see, I messed up once. So make sure you do this properly. And then you're gonna take your spatula and just kind of evenly disperse it. And I kind of like the look of a little bit of the rocks, but to get it more even, you're just gonna kind of drop it on the floor, if that makes sense, and that's what it will look like. You can go ahead and go back in and take your silver leaf paint, and I just went along the edges and added a little bit pop of that little like metallic flare to it to make it look a little bit better than just like the plain wood, but it's up to you, and there's your new concrete tray. The next DIY is this fringe arrow wall hanging, and for this DIY you're going to need a wooden arrow or ruler, sandpaper, some chain and fringe, a hot glue gun, and a pair of scissors. So you're going to first start off by taking your sandpaper and just sand that wooden arrow and make it nice and even. Next you're going to take your little fringe pieces and you're going to cut them. So I just cut them to the length of this ruler because it was convenient. So you're just going to repeat that process over and over. Then you are going to take your chain and do the same thing. Just line it up along that ruler and cut it. You won't need as many pieces of the chain if you're doing what I'm doing. So you're going to take your hot glue gun and just put a little dab of that hot glue on the back of the arrow and then glue your little faux leather fringe piece onto it. And what I did for my particular design is I did three to one. So three of the faux leather fringe pieces to one chain and you're just going to continue until you've covered up the entire arrow. I didn't put them super close together. And then after that, you're going to take your chain piece and just line it up along the top of this wooden arrow so you can have a way to hang it up. So once you've seen exactly how much of that chain you're going to need, you're just gonna snip a little piece off and then lastly hot glue it. And after that, you are all done with your new fringe arrow wall hanging. Moving on to the next DIY, we're going to be making this fringe tassel pillow. For this, you're going to need two different colors of a fringe tassel, some rope fabric, a hot glue gun, scissors, a ruler, and a pillow or a pillowcase. So I'm taking my pillowcase, I'm just laying it out flat, and the design I chose to make is kind of like a selection of squares, if you will. So you're gonna start off by the first square that you're making, and it's kind of off-center. So I took my beige tassel, and I went and glued it on with my hot glue gun, and you wanna make sure that you don't glue any of those tassels down, so you kind of want to take your time with this, because if you glue the tassels down, that will mess it up a lot. So that was is what like the first outer square looks like. Then you're going to make an inner square, so I'm using the white fringe tassel for this, again applying it with the hot glue gun like I did the last square. After that, you're going to take all the fringe tassels and move them outward. Here's when we're going to go back in with that rope fabric that we have, and this is just to add an extra detail along with do its job at holding the tassels outward to kind of create the look we're going for for this pillow. So just go ahead and glue that along the edge of that square. And then lastly, we're gonna go back in with another beige square, super simple, just make a little square in the middle and this is what the finished pillow will look like. Last but not least is this abstract wood art. It's actually one of my favorites. So for this, you're going to need a wooden board, some foam brushes, some paint, sandpaper, and lastly, painter's tape. For the first step, you're gonna take your sandpaper and just make sure that you're working with a nice, smooth surface. I did have to sand this piece down a little bit, more than I expected. And then you're just gonna go in with your painter's tape and honestly, make any sort of design you want. I couldn't really explain to you exactly what I did, but there's a little rough estimate if you wanna pause the video. So then I just went in with my paint and I chose three different colors. So I chose a black, 
a silver and a white. I thought that those colors went together really well and I always like to add a little pop of metallic when I do artwork pieces like this. I think it looks great. So yeah, that is basically what I did and after you let it dry, you just remove the painter's tape and it's that simple. I did use a little bit of an X-Acto knife and once it's dry and you're all done, this is what the finished art piece looks like and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed those DIYs. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to me and click on that video right there to head on over to Drew's channel to check out his DIY videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.